And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, hello and happy Monday, everyone. I am meteorologist Sheldon Brashears checking in with a look at a windy couple of days in the forecast. Let's take a look at what our upper level pattern looks like. This is the jet stream and what it's going to be doing. You'll see it kind of take a southwesterly turn. That's going to be warm and dry air that's being funneled into the area, especially for your Monday. We're really going to fill that effect. But then you'll notice going into Tuesday. Well, it looks like that speed will get even stronger as what we call a trough starts to dip through the area. And that will start to shift our direction and could lead to a cold front coming in midday Tuesday. So let's look at your wind tracker for your Monday afternoon. You'll see those southwest winds a little bit quieter up in the northeastern parts of the area, 10 to 15 miles an hour. But for the rest of us, we're talking 15 to 25 with gusts upwards of 30 possible at times. Now looking at your Monday going into your Tuesday, you're going to see those winds don't drop off overnight. And then they pick up even more so going into your Tuesday afternoon where we'll see those wind speeds 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts upwards of 40. And you'll see all that purple right there in central New Mexico. That's for some even stronger winds there. And then watch what happens here. That's 1 o'clock Tuesday in the afternoon. But look at this right here. Then those winds turn out of the north 15 to 25 miles an hour. That's a cold front getting ready to push through the region. That's going to set up some pretty cool conditions. Now what we see right now is a high wind watch and a red flag warning up in north Eastern New Mexico, that's a high wind watch for Tuesday over in Quay County in eastern New Mexico. That high wind watch does expand all the way to the mountains of New Mexico. So looking at your forecast highs for your Monday, 67 degrees here in Amarillo. Some places will be pushing close to the 70s while you'll see low 60s down off in the southwestern parts of the area where maybe there's a little snow still on the ground. Now tomorrow, you're going to see that cold front come in. Depends on when it comes in now. I think Amarillo will be able to see some warming before that front does hit. We'll see 57 for a high tomorrow, but places like Elkhart may see a high of only 36, which is pretty chilly while Childress may enjoy low 70s. So we're going to really get a mixed bag across a lot of the area. Looking ahead in your seven day supercast, 67 today, 57 tomorrow, an overnight low of 19. With those strong winds, we could see wind, uh, wind chills down in the single digit, so that will be pretty chilly. We'll see 40s and 50s getting back into the 60s by the weekend before another cold front, this time maybe not quite as stout. We'll see Saturday and Sunday a 20% chance of showers each of those days.